So the first thing I want to do is just establish that the motor works and what direction it's going in. So it works and it pushes it this way. This is double end axle motor. I mean you could use a single end if you wanted to. Next thing we need to do is build a base for the car or you could call it a chassis. So about two popsicle sticks wide should do based on the side of the motor. So I've just cut these bits off as well so we can glue this all together and we can build the whole car on it. So I'm just using a glue gun. Also I've cut off a bit of straw here. This is going to run as the first axle. So glue that on as well. and we'll let that dry. Next we'll glue the motor in place. Let that set. Now we need to get four milk bottle tops or pop bottle, whatever. I need to drill little holes for the axles to get in. So just look at the diameter of your axle here. Get a bit and then we'll drill in the holes. For the front, I'm just going to use a toothpick. So the toothpick will be front axle right here. Double check the size. That should do. Now I'm just going to glue the battery to the base. I've already hooked up one side of it. As the wires aren't insulated, I'm just going to put another layer of sticks on top, just to keep them separated, or you could just use insulated wires. There, that should keep everything separated. Now I'm just going to wire in an on-off switch to better control it. Now I'm just going to glue the switch to the back. Alright, let's have a quick test to see if it works. Let's start putting the wheels on. There you go, finished product, motor at the back. Now to see if this actually works, 